Battle Brain! The busy world of Richard Scary. if we cut through here. But what about the old male ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly, Hilda. There's no such thing as ghosts. <gasps> what was that? Yeah, it was it was probably just the wind. Come on, guys. I'm getting scared. Well, we don't have to cut through. It's not much farther going around. such thing as ghosts. We sure heard something, Billy. It could have been a ghost. I'm sure it was a ghost. There's no ghosts in that mill. And just to prove it, I'm going to go into the mill myself. So, who's going in with me? I dare you to come in. I don't care if you dare me. I'm not going in. Are you going to go in, Lolly? I don't know, Huckle. I don't think any of us should go in. You're all just scaredy cats. My name's Cat, but it's not scaredy cat. Ah! Oh, no. I can't get it open. Billy, let me in. I'll show you who's scared. Billy! <gasps> oh, no! Huckleberry, look! It's a do not enter sign. That means there's danger inside. I bet Sergeant Murphy put the sign up. Billy, you have to come out! We found a sign that says it's dangerous inside! You're just saying that. No, Billy, it's the truth! You can't trick me. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because there's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, what was that? Huh? Oh, sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> What was that? Oh, no! The old male ghost got him! Billy, are you all right? Ow! I think I sprained my ankle! Oh, no! What'll we do? We better go tell Sergeant Murphy! But the sign said, keep out! If we tell Sergeant Murphy, we'll be in big trouble! Billy's hurt! 
word. We've got to tell him. Sergeant Murphy here. What's that? He ate all the bananas. Oh, hold on. Mr. Frumble's causing a traffic jam? Sergeant Murphy! Sergeant Murphy! You have to come, quick! I'm sorry, I can't. I'm very busy. Uh, no, I didn't mean you, Flossie. But, Sergeant Murphy, it's Billy Dog. I, I think he's hurt. Hurt? The sign must have fallen over. We didn't see it until Billy went in. You're not going to send us to jail, are you? We'll talk about that later. First, I have to get Billy. <clears throat> Billy, it's Sergeant Murphy. Are you all right? I'm okay. It's just my ankle. It hurts a bit. Hang on, Billy. I'll be right there, son. Oh, Sergeant Murphy, what if the ghost gets you, too? Hilda, there's no such thing as ghosts. Now, I want you kids to wait there. Yes! yes. We won't move a muscle. Can you see anything? It's blacker than midnight. Ah, what's that? <laughs> of course. Hello, little spider. <laughs> Ghosts indeed. Hurry, Sergeant Murphy. Oh. <laughs> ah, there you are, Billy. Don't worry, we'll get you out. There must be a staircase to get down there. Aha! I'm coming, Billy. Won't be long. I should have listened to you when you told me it was dangerous. That's okay, Billy. I know we deserve to go to jail, Sergeant Murphy, but we didn't see the do not enter sign. It was on the ground when we got here. It's okay, Hilda. You did the right thing by coming to get me. I know there's no such thing as ghosts, but the next time someone says it's dangerous, I'll believe them. <gasps> nah, it's probably just the wind. Billy's right. It's only the wind. Imagine that. Look at all the different places in the world, Loli. Wouldn't it be fun to visit them all? We all live together on our amazing Earth. Now most of the Earth is covered with water, oceans and lakes and rivers. There's plenty of land with deserts of sand. There are hills that are green and high mountains with snow. Forests and jungles are places to go where the prairies are flat. Things to grow. There are places so cold like the North and South Pole, and they're all right here on the planet Earth. What an amazing place the Earth is! It's enough to make you dizzy. Uh, uh. Good day to you, and welcome to merry old England 200 years ago. We're at the beautiful home of the Earl of Sandwich. That's the Earl right there. But our story isn't about the Earl. It's about one of his servants, Oliver, and how one day he did something great. Oliver, I'll finish putting up the net. Shouldn't you go inside to set up the Earl's card game? Oh, goodness, you're right. Thank you. The guests will be here any second. <clears throat> oh! oh, Oliver. I'll set up the table. You get the chairs. Thank you, Jonathan. <gasps> Catherine. Oh. Oliver, where are those chairs? Oops. Oh, Oliver. I don't know what you'd do if the other servants and I weren't here to watch over you. Now, quickly, get the cards. Uh, on second thought, I'll get them. Oh! Come on, let's greet the guests. Oh, ah, 
I believe the card table is ready. <laughs> oh, milady. Thank you. Don't you think Catherine is the most beautiful girl in the world? That she is, Oliver. But don't get your hopes up. You know that her father wants her to marry someone great. And I haven't done a great thing in my whole life. Lunch, gentlemen. Did you bring the eating gloves, Oliver? I, uh, uh, that is, uh, your eating gloves. I say, in these modern times, you would think someone would invent something that would make eating lunch easier while we play cards. And less messy on our white gloves. Oh. Same time tomorrow, then. Good day. What's the matter, Oliver? Catherine is the most wonderful girl in the world. If I had one wish, it would be to marry her. Then you need to do something great in your life to get the Earl of Roastberry and Catherine's attention. Alas! How will I ever do that? Oliver, uh, are you all right? Yes, sir. Well, you haven't been your usual self lately. You haven't dropped anything, you haven't fallen over. Is something the matter? Not really, sir. Oh, Oliver, uh, please make certain the eating gloves are washed for lunch. The Earl of Roastbury is coming to play cards with me today. The Earl of Roastbury? Yes, sir. Well, it's good to see the boys back to normal. Hello, Oliver. Would you be so kind as to play badminton with Lady Catherine? She's waiting outside. Yes, sir. How do you do? I'm Oliver. Pleased to meet you, Oliver. I'm Catherine of Roastbury. May I invite you to a match of badminton? That would be enchanting. I must confess, I've never played the game before. It's easy. Just return the birdie to me before it hits the ground. Here you are. <laughs> no, no, Oliver. You have to return it with your racket like this. Oh. At last, Oliver has his chance. <laughs> You're so much fun, Oliver. Oliver, tell me where you put the eating gloves. Oh, goodness, I forgot to wash the eating gloves. We can't use the gloves. We can't use the gloves. Well, can't you use something else? Something else. Something else they can eat with so they don't get their fingers dirty. Pots? Maybe two pots. No. no. I don't think so. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, yes, Oliver. I say, Oliver, do you expect us to eat bread for lunch? And uh, where are the eating gloves? Well, sir, you don't need to use eating gloves. The meat and fish and cheese are between two slices of bread. Ingenious, Oliver. And delicious. Uh, what do you call this great invention? Why, sir, I have named it after you. I call it the sandwich. You're an industrious young man, Oliver. You've done something great here, Oliver. Indeed, something very great. Say, are you married? Badminton and sandwiches for everyone! Play it safe! Sally, stop! It's dangerous to play around fire, Sally. Yep, there's only one cool rule. Keep it cool, don't, don't play with fire. I'm cooking burgers at the barbecue. Always remember what the smart kids do. They all back up when flames flare up. Keep it cool, don't play with fire. Don't play, don't play with fire. This is the lesson to learn. Don't play, don't play with fire. And never play with matches, then you won't get burned. Not to get too close. Just back away. 
and you won't get burned. idea. Thank you, Soybean. Goodbye. My goodness, you have been busy, Pigwheel. It never hurts to lend a hand, Mom. I've got a treat for you. Soybean Goat says his orchard is full of ripe peaches just waiting to be picked. Oh, boy! Why don't you and your brother head over to his farm right away? Say, where is Pigwont anyway? Pigwont! Pigwont! Perhaps you'll have more fun picking peaches at Soybean's farm, Pig Won't. I won't pick peaches. Come on, Pig Won't. We don't want to keep those fuzzy fruits waiting. I won't go. I won't pick peaches. I won't. I won't. I won't. But I'll make a tasty peach strudel if you do. Well, okay. I'll go, but I won't have fun. Come on, Pig Won't. Help me pedal. I won't pedal, and I won't help! Hello there! Who will pick some peaches? I will. I will, but I won't like it. I'll race you to see who can fill his basket first. I already filled mine. I will eat two big pieces of Mother Strudel. I filled my basket. Will you show me how you're doing? No, I won't. Wow, look at those. They'd make a wonderful present for Mom. Hold on to this ladder while I climb up. No, I won't. I'll get it, I will. Hey, Pig Wolf, please hold the... Whoa! Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! I'm coming! Wow, look at that bump! Maybe we should tell Soybean what happened. I won't tell him. I won't pick any more peaches. I'm going home. Hey, don't forget the peaches. I won't carry those. I won't. But if you won't, that means... Start pedaling, Big Will. I won't pedal. I won't, I won't. But if you won't, that means... <sighs> What's gotten into Pig Will? Goodness me! Pig Will, come... I won't. Pig Will bumped his head while we were picking peaches. And now he won't do anything I won't do. Oh, no. Not another pig won't. We better go see Dr. Lion. Hmm. That bump on his head has changed his personality. But in time, he'll return to normal. Oh, thank goodness. I won't go back to normal. Now there, young man, let's try to be nice. I won't, I won't, I won't. And I want you to be extra helpful to your mom and keep your brother company. I don't want to, but I guess I... I will? Come on, Pig Will, push! I won't. Oof. I won't clean it up. You be pitcher, Pig Won't. Okay, but be careful not to break a window. I won't. Ah! 
Why, thank you for picking up the mail, Pig Won't. Since you are being so helpful, why don't you help me with the laundry? I guess I will, because Pig Will won't. Gee, living with a pig will sure can get difficult sometimes. I bang my head. I feel funny. I feel like my real self. Okay, boys. Who will help me eat this peach strudel? I will, I will. Who wants to pour the milk? I will. It's so good to hear you say I will again, dear. It sure is. And do you know what? I kind of like to say it now, too. I will try to say I will once or twice a day. But I won't say it more than that. I won't!